Warning, the following episode contains extreme spoilers about the film Halloween 2018, and one significant spoiler from Broken Lizard's Club Dread. Why are we still here? Why isn't the title rolling? It's All Been Done presents... Ah! No, what are you doing here? Oh, right, of course. Hmm, okay. Nikki tells you how to live your life. Nikki has completed her second season, so now you have two full batches of episodes in which she advises you how to live your life. Head on over to our YouTube channel to find the video series Nikki Tells You How to Live Your Life and watch it over and over again until you have it internalized as your personal mantra. That is certainly a good idea. Head on over to iabdpresents.com to check out this and all of our programs. And please support us at patreon.com forward slash iabd. Oh, hey, it's... What the other Keith here? Uh, since you brought up Patreon, I just wanted to point out that uh, for this episode, there, there's a Patreon clip about why you have to do these uh, these promos at the beginning. Oh, well, that's just great news, isn't it? Okay, can, can we go now? Is Dallas going to show up? Okay, let's go. Welcome to Mary Ann's Macabre Review. folks, welcome to Marianne's Macabre Review. Today we're reviewing Halloween 2018. We have with us today, Andy. Hello. Angela. Hello. Dave. Hello. Keith. Hello. And myself. So, you can say hello. Hi. <laughs> Dave, why don't you give a synopsis of this movie? All right. Uh, Halloween 2018 is a direct sequel to Halloween 1978, the original Halloween. Hmm. So, for the purpose of this movie, ignore every other movie before it. <laughs> uh, they have nothing to do with anything. So, uh, in this movie, uh, 40 years later, um, Lori Strode has been obsessing over Michael Myers for 40 years. Uh, he's in jail or in, locked up in the Smith Grove uh, Mental Hospital, and uh, he's getting transported to a uh, uh, oh more secure prison, I guess. For I don't I don't know why they decided to do it forty years later, but good behavior. Uh, yeah, good behavior. Sen- sentimentality. Yeah, hadn't said a word in forty years. <laughs> uh, so, or why they chose to do it like. That, that close to Halloween. That day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So anyway, uh, he's been locked up for 40 years. Uh, she's been obsessing and pretty much preparing for him to escape. I don't know if she knew what happened, but she was planning on it. So uh, she's getting ready to kill him whenever she can see him. And then shenanigans happen. And then shenanigans <laughs> happen. Uh, and he does escape. Oh my gosh. He does mm-hmm. escape. Yeah, bus. The bus crashes miraculously when uh, he's getting uh, transferred to the new prison. And then Halloween break lo- breaks loose. <laughs> Do we think the doctor is the one that did it? That seems to be the implication. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't think about that. But yeah, I mean, the way it, the way it turned out, because the, uh, the little twist with him in the towards the end was... Yeah. But by did it, she means orchestrated the escape or the bus crash. Yeah, because yeah, he was on the bus with them. Too. Mm, yeah, he, he made it a... Highly suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he made a... He on the bus, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was totally fine until that kid shot him. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. one of the one of the few things that made me jump, was the kid shooting him. When he, like, when he said, don't shoot, bang. I was like, ah. <laughs> I actually kind of felt bad right in that moment. It's like... Yeah, it's like, oh... Yeah, and, like, yeah, and then the kid died. And, yeah, yeah, the doctor that uh, took over for Michael Myers was a student of Dr. Loomis from the original yeah. Halloween, so that's how they brought him in. He uh, he took over uh, as Michael Myers' doctor. Was that someone you, you remember from the, the first one? No, it wasn't a name that... No, I, yeah, I remember. I think it's just a... The only people you see from Smith's Grove in the first movie are Loomis and the nurse that's with them, right? Yeah, and then the doctor yells out when they say, oh, you know, 
uh, you let him out of here last night. And he's like, well, he doesn't know how to drive. Well, <laughs> someone around here gave him lessons. Oh, right. <laughs> that guy. Um, let's start out with what we thought about it, like, didn't like, and then we'll get deeper into it. Andy, would you like to start? Sure. Uh, I thought it was great. I really, really liked it. It lived up to my expectations. Nay, surpassed my expectations. <laughs> yes. And I, I liked it better than both zombie films. Uh, and, uh, like, you know, short of resurrection, I think it's... Uh, it's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, Is it's, that the Buster Rhymes one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's, uh, you know, it's it's right up there. It's a great successor to the first movie. Mm-hmm. Angela. Yeah, I feel the same way. I really, really liked it. I was kind of impressed, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I liked it. I thought it was really great. I, I'm in the same boat. I loved it. Uh, I thought it was a really good sequel to the mm-hmm. original, if you're forgetting about everything in between. They had a lot of little things in there that were throwbacks to the original two mm-hmm. Halloweens. You could see just lot, lots of little things that they... I guess would say an homage to the original mm-hmm. too. There, there's lots of little things in there. If you if you don't know the movies, probably like I do, you may not be able to pick on pick up on them. But I, I saw lots of little stuff in there, and I, I really like. We want to hear them. So okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Keith, you know, it, sometimes it's hard for me to get a read on on how quote unquote good a movie is. I I enjoyed it, and I'm glad to hear that other people thought it was good as well. I mean, especially the people I would want to know that from. <laughs> um. I was I was actually scared in certain places. I wouldn't say like, mm-hmm. oh my god, you know, not like terrified, but I'm just saying I felt invested in some of the throwaway characters they had because you you, you know, it could have, it could have honestly gone either way. They could have lived, they could have uh, died, and so mm-hmm. it was tense. So I'm kind of disappointed that the cheating or weird ass boyfriend didn't get any cup up at any what? point in time. That's, that's yeah. a very good point. That's oh, very strange yeah. that he. Uh, I guess they're saving for the sequel. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> so, I wonder if there's a deleted scene where he just gets like hit by a truck. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> I I really enjoyed it. I loved the uh, the the foreshadowing of the the basic training for the, for Lori's daughter, mm-hmm. and then like hers just she's just like, well shit, I guess I gotta do it, and then the the fake out at the end where she's like, mm-hmm. Mom, I can't do it. And Great. She's like, Psh. Gotcha. <laughs> that was so good. I love that. So I, You've been exed. Three, uh, three strong females. They all talk to each other. It passed Bechdel tests. I immediately was like, oh my God, is there going to have one female in this? And she's not going to talk to anybody else. But no, they did. And they were great. Uh, I really enjoyed it. We um, got that dad right out of there. Yep. <laughs> sure did. He was kind of dumb. So he kind of deserved that. Oh, he was fun. Yeah. <laughs> It seemed like a, especially. I, I got peanut butter on my penis. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> that's, that's, a direct quote from the movie. I'm not even paraphrasing that. That it is very. It's funny how quickly that just went right out of my head. Like, oh, he seemed like a normal nut guy, whatever. And, oh, yeah. So yeah, uh, you can tell the lines that maybe Danny McBride mm. wrote versus <laughs> like, some of the little goofy comedy moments. Yeah, like the the lunch. Scene with the two cops. Yeah. Oh, this I like is that, this. Though. This is this. That's a five-year-old lunch. Yeah, yeah, it was like a brownie and some was, chocolate know, pudding. It was like Tarantino dialogue. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that, yeah. I, thought, I thought the same thing. Yeah, because yeah, mm-hmm. he was talking about the gourmet sandwich or whatever yeah. it was. Uh, oh, the PB and J that was on like special French bread mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Um, I think Judy Greer is criminally undercast and has been for about. Going on twenty years now, so it's always mm-hmm. nice to see her with a, a media role. So yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. it is. She's. It seems like she's being typecast for like at least the last the five mom. years. Yeah. The mm-hmm. the uh, the disbelieving mom. Mm-hmm. Or I, the conservative kind of uh, protective, overprotective mother kind of. Was yeah. she in Cockblockers? No, no. no. It's Leslie Mann. Okay, yeah. that's who um, I'm thinking of. Yeah. In Jurassic World, she was the mother that was at home when the. Okay. Kept telling Brace Dallas Howard, you'll understand when you're a mother. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I think he's got some problems. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive into it. Well, what do we like? What do we not like? Who wants to start? I liked very much, like the first thing that comes to my mind when you say, what did you like? I liked the uh, direct callback to the end of Halloween where 
Lori is there. Michael looks away. Michael looks back. Lori is gone after she's fallen out the window. Like, that yeah. is just the, like... They even hit the little music sting. Mm-hmm. Loved it. It's like... Yeah. My, you, just, you can imagine Mike just going, shit. Yeah, just yeah. Yep, that's like the total, like, oh, no, you're fucked, Michael. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the moment, like, you know? That's what, yeah. that's, and that's what the doctor was talking about uh, when uh, he was saying that, you know, he's become the prey instead of the predator because mm. she's been yeah. working the rest of her life since that night to go back to and get sure him. she's not the prey. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the parts in the movie where the... We watched it. We're, we're seeing an opening opening night, kind of Friday night. Uh, we saw the nine fifty version of it. It was a sparse crowd, but it ended up filling up. There were it was sold <laughs> Indeed. out. Indeed. However, it's a lot of late arrivals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when that Lori scene happened, it got you know it got applause, yeah. mm-hmm. and that was. I'm always a sucker for when the audience yeah. reacts to something in a theater. Yeah, so. that I mean, was it, the biggest reaction, I think. Yeah, as, yeah, as much for as, sure. as as torn as I am about having big crowds in theaters, exactly for, for the reasons, you know, you know, for shadows going across the projector, things like that. Oh but, man, don't you want to uh, hear them clap when they blow up the Death Star? No, <laughs> no that, I, I'm a sucker for that too. I can't, I can't help it it's, sometimes. It's the crowd disruption of the people talking in the front of the theater, and we could still hear them. Just yeah. having a having a conversation, middle of the movie, and they're just like, so what are you going to watch on TV tonight? <laughs> I, think, I think that's just like opening weekend unavoidable shit, you know? Yeah. 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 I, actually, I actually heard him, you know, there, it was like narrating to each other, like, oh no, now he's getting his mask. It was like when um, <laughs> he was getting out of the, the trunk of uh, the journalist car. Yeah. yeah I like the journalists. People. We're making it's a, a podcast. <laughs> yeah. She's like, we're investigative <laughs> journalists. <laughs> yeah, that was so cute. That's one of the. That was, I think, one of the moments I was most frightened for a character was the woman She's in the bathroom. Yeah. She could have. That was bad enough on its own. Just even if it were, even it if he wore it, it was horrific on its own. Yeah, just yeah. just her, not with Michael. Just not yeah, 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 yeah. Her reaction going, not this doll, not that yeah. one. Ugh, just just the, the facial reaction, just having yeah. to sit in the toilet and have to be outside going. It I'm did a occupied. good job of of like building tension, but it also gave people who are into gore gore. Mm-hmm. So oh, I think yeah. there's a there's a good combination of both. So yeah. note to you know anyone out there who's planning on murdering Keith, please let him finish peeing. First. <laughs> <laughs> it's only polite. Yeah. Or heaven forbid, I'm sitting in a stall. I mean, just yeah. wait wait outside. First of all, it's gonna speed it's gonna speed the, up the process quite a bit. Because if you're sitting outside the door like that, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> be waiting for a while. It's okay. Can you just wait for the feet to move. So, so when that woman saw those boots, did did she really think that was another woman? With yeah, yeah. Say, was, I was like, I. It, it's, it was twenty eighteen. Well, I think she's, it she's, she's pretty open minded about who could be yeah. in there. I don't know. Maybe she. Just, maybe it was a family restroom. No, it's definitely. Is, that, that, I don't see the women on the door. Too many unisex men. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was, so that was something that I, I don't know if I want to say disappointed in, but um, something that I kind of maybe created in my own mind ahead of time was that maybe this would be the kind of toned down gore, low body count movie that the first one was because it was supposed to be such a direct successor. Nope. No, 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 it was not. He was all bets were off for anybody. No, it wasn't like Rob Zombie level. Oh, definitely. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. But it certainly had its, you know, yeah. like Halloween, shared squeamish how, moments. I mean... Yeah, I mean, Halloween is almost a bloodless movie. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. first one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so. the, th- the thing about the Halloween movies compared to this one is in the Halloween with Rob Zombie, it's... Essentially a bloodless movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. It is not just innocent Laurie. It is everyone around Laurie is just... Anyone around Michael is just evil. And Lori's got her own little family and her friend, circle of friends. And then everyone else is just horrible. Mm-hmm. Like the entire, you know, the, the rape scene and all that stuff. I'm just like, mm. these prison guards are the worst. Yeah. Yeah, Danny Trejo was the only shining light in that entire... But in this movie, everyone seemed genuinely likable. There was the boyfriend that I was like, ugh, I hope he dies. And yeah. He, he didn't even, and then, Angela, what about you? What I liked about it? Yeah. Well, or what you didn't like. I mean, you can do either. Well, I didn't like that the kid died at the beginning. 
Oh, the, the dancer boy? Yeah. yeah that was... <laughs> I forgot about the, the oh, dancer. Oh, yeah, I forgot he was a dancer, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. That made me laugh. I'm really into I'm my, dancing right really now. my dancing right now. I don't want to be a hunter. I want to be a hunter. I'm happy to do this with you on the weekends, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you can tell the kids smoke too much anyways. <laughs> but with, I, the, with the voice. And... I actually kind of like that because right there, you know, okay, All this stuff. guy doesn't... Yeah. He doesn't yeah. care about... Shit, right now. Yeah. But he yeah. don't know what to expect from then on. Right. He didn't kill the baby, though. Right. He did walk yeah. past the baby. I yeah. guess that was his. But that was yeah. the great thing about it is that just I uh, remember just that scene when he was uh, he kind of enters the threshold of the neighborhood mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Halloween is happening around. It was just that sort of feeling of like he could just do anything right now. He's just like yeah. looking around, like thinking, "Oh, what do I, what do I feel like doing right now?" It was probably, yeah. it was probably kind of was, overwhelming for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's like uh, a smorgasbord. Right. Fond memories. Yeah. And the thing where the kid runs into him, hasn't that happened in another movie too? That was, yeah, that's one of the okay. little throwbacks. That yeah. happened in Halloween 2 okay. where mm. Michael Myers bumps into the kid yeah. who's holding the little boom box. Oh. Okay. Um, when the granddaughter is in the classroom and the teacher's talking about fate, that's the same oh, thing that was going on and that, you know, that was happening to Lori in the first one. And that's when she looks out and sees Michael Myers, and in this one, the oh, granddaughter okay. looks out and sees Lori. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, great. so, um, and I also liked, I pointed this out to Andy in the theater, uh, some of the, the trick-or-treaters were wearing the uh, the three masks from yeah, Halloween 3. I saw yeah. that, yeah. Yep. Somebody in Facebook posted something like that very briefly, something about, like, a nod to 3. Yeah, yeah, so, nod to Halloween 3. Um, how quickly did you close that browser tab? <laughs> it was quick, and I was just like... Uh, it, it, it was eating at me, I, honestly, through the thing. And I was like, luckily, the, the I saw the Repo Man scene, and I, I wasn't, I forgot mm-hmm. that I was Repo Man until like the credits. Like, oh, so I thought maybe yeah. that was a thing. But oh. what what was the significance of them showing that, if any? Do you know? Of what Repo Man? Yeah, and the, the, the uh, kid who was being babysat. Uh, maybe uh, just TV. that in the original one they were watching the you thing. Know, old, the yeah, movie. they were watching the thing. Maybe just watching old horror movies, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe they just. You know, want to want to do that? It's uh, like where's Stonehenge? <laughs> but yeah, where's Stonehenge that's at a, in this that's movie? That's a callback I was waiting for. Yeah. Uh, what? There was. Uh, I was waiting. For oh, when uh, show up or when he went and found the hammer in the garage and mm-hmm. went in to kill the lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was at the beginning of Halloween two. Um, he kills the lady uh, who's cutting her ham on the cutting oh, board, okay. and that's how he gets the knife in that one. Nice. So. So those are a lot of the little things that That's really cool. I kind of noticed when I was when I was watching. I mean, and a lot of the deaths too were similar to like the guy pinned the, to the wall. The guy pinned to the wall. He had him face first, and he had him through the neck this time because Tom Savini probably couldn't have that. You know, had him <laughs> stuck in the chest up against the wall. No, yeah. but yeah, he had him stuck up against the wall. You get the when he killed the little kid, he popped up from the back seat and strangled him hmm. mm-hmm. like he did to. Uh, Oh, what's her name? No, no, I don't think, can't think of her name. But in part one. PJ Souls? No, not PJ Souls. Uh, Nancy Loomis's character. Uh, oh, oh, why can't I think of it? Oh, okay. I'll think of it. It was the little boy that was being babysat. Oh, he was he funny. Got away? Uh, yeah, I I think so. I would assume they, so. They told him to run and get help, or he, he saw her, he saw, what's her, what's her name, Lindsay? Or? Yeah, I think so. He saw Dave on the way Vicky. out. Yeah. Oh, it's funny that the guys are yeah. there, too. Yeah. <laughs> the, the guy, sheet with the little holes in his, that was a throwback. Too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that was in both Only, Rob Zombie and right, uh, yeah. this one. Yeah, so in the in the original one, original. it was Michael Myers getting dressed up, and, yeah. and this time he dressed up the, the murder victim. Yeah, so you had that tension of just like... Of who's it going to be, yeah. yeah. I liked Vicky, I was sad that she had to fight it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the, when, after the bus crashed and, and the, the dancing kid and his father came across mm-hmm. the, the people just kind of wandering, mm-hmm. it was very reminiscent of the yeah, scene. Yeah, uh, how uh, he escaped, yeah, yeah. In, the, in the original you just see these people just in, like, basically in dressing gowns just kind of wandering around. Yeah, you know? yep. It's really kind of eerie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there were lots of little callbacks like that to the original couple movies that I, that I really, that I really liked. Keith, what about you? Yeah, it's all been covered. <laughs> it's, no, all been it's all been done. Yeah, it's all been done. Um, this, I mean, it was just, again, mostly the feeling of, of um, the smorgasbord effect of, of just that. And I, 
you were, you were um all, you were getting the details of all the things I felt I thought just felt familiar but couldn't put my finger on exactly. Mm -hmm. Just like even that moment when um something something about the way he maneuvered with with the mask on seemed more realistic too. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't have you could tell he didn't really have peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. like, when we walk into the kitchen for the you know he had the hammer he kind of goes just he stops kind of pivot slightly to see, oh, there's something in here. What's lots going of, on? Lots of full turns. Oh, yeah. 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 Which makes sense for a guy with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> he did a... Yeah. Um, one eye? Yeah. Yeah, they, they would... They kept showing they the kept showing like, like a little bit, because oh, at goodness. the end of Halloween, uh, Laurie, like... I didn't notice that. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, yeah, no. You could, like, he's definitely like... Oh, this, 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 I didn't this, notice this that. His left eye does not work. Okay. Really. Yeah, because she caught him with a coat hanger. Like Lisa Lopez. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they had the the scene where the guy shows the mask. I thought that was really good. Mm -hmm. And this the chaos of all the other inmates just freaking the fuck out in the dog and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the way they had Michael Myers, I almost called him Mike, uh, walk mm -hmm. again. It was just very determined, not very hesitant. I thought that was a very good serial killer Michael Myers walk. It's very cool that they got the same actor for that. Like, it was. it's oh. not something they had to yeah. do, obviously, but yeah, like, it's because it's he's probably sixty years old by now, or over yeah. sixty. Yeah. Who is he? Uh, who? What's the guy's name? Uh, Nick Castle? Castle. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he played the original Michael yeah. Myers in '78, so reprises his role forty years later. They have another guy also because they call him it. They're calling him the Shape. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then they that's what in the credits of the original <laughs> movie that's what he was billed as yeah <laughs> James Judd Courtney as the shape also okay maybe, maybe he did some of the stunt, stunt work. work or something yeah. probably had to yeah what'd you guys think about that font oh yeah oh, the man, font was great font, they even, nailed it even was slightly blurry mm -hmm. so you could be like yeah was oh, this the same 80s font yeah is that yeah it? yeah been I sharpened. love that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I as soon as it as soon as it hit, I was like, ah, I'm yep. so excited. And I like how they had the the jack o' lantern like from the or original one, and the, it was all uh, smushed down smushed or melted down. down. Then they like inflated it as the yeah, uh, that was super cool. As the credits went, I thought that's that was a very neat. John Carpenter thing. I thought it was interesting. Uh, I, I'm, I was just distracted thinking about the the uh, reporters or journalists from the mm -hmm. beginning that say something. Uh, claiming to have shown him the mask with to no reaction it was like showing it to his back essentially. Yeah, yeah. Why, couldn't he, he just, just like felt walk, it? Couldn't he, he just walk around it. the other side and look at him? I mean, it's kind of yeah. strange. Could have. That, yeah, that it is tape a box. went all the way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I, I thought that whole thing was a little bit hammy. Hmm. You know, I, that 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 first scene didn't super work for me. Yeah, I uh -huh. I after they got knocked off so quickly, I didn't really understand the value in having them. Yeah. If you're yeah. not gonna, if they're not gonna make it. To the end or close to the end? Not even close to the end. Like, yeah. I guess they were just a, a vessel to deliver the mask. You could, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. Delivery. I was going to say, they could have they could have easily just cut all that out and began with, hey, Michael Myers is getting transferred to here. That's where you kind of Lori, begin Lori it. Lori knew exactly when that was happening anyway. Right, because they didn't get much out of her when, she, when they interviewed her. No. So, I think okay. that might have been they were doing... By the way, remember those others movies don't count. He doesn't have a son. He has a daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to yeah. say the uh, expository information. Yeah, they were a lot good, of it. They were good for a, a good reason, a natural reason to do that. Recapping for things and maybe looking through case files. All right, yeah. Visiting the graveyard so forth. and Yeah. Uh, especially for people like myself, who, well, probably people even less experienced with it, uh, who didn't really know the original story that well. Right. To say, here's why you should be scared of this person or what's this is so it's big and this like how famous yeah. yeah I did like that he went to Judas grave yeah and, mm -hmm. and then he saw them and that's why he keyed in on them yeah, yeah. yeah. oh so the Judas really? wait his so Judas is Michael Myers' sister the one he that's murdered in the beginning okay. yeah okay. so I guess I missed that so he was he was at the graveyard Michael Myers yeah, yeah he was okay. lurking behind oh, a tree yeah. yeah okay I didn't see that yeah and I do like, because in the original one, they, you know, they, Loomis visits the graveyard, and Judas Tombstone is not there because Michael Myers had taken it, so hmm. this time it is there, and Michael was there. I don't know if he was there to maybe visit the grave of his sister. Maybe, maybe he was about to take it, and he was like, yeah. these people. It's here. like, oh, 
goons are lurking at my sister's uh, mm-hmm. gravesite. I better take them out. So what else? Uh, what else did we not like? What about you? You you're uh, you're our Halloween expert besides uh, Randy. I would say I did not like the fact that Artie, the strongest man in the world, in the world, got killed so easily Artie. with literally no fight. Who's Artie? He played uh he played the dad. Um, oh, um, yeah, he seemed kind of He was of a he was a he was a character <laughs> on a Nickelodeon TV show called The Adventures of Pete and Pete, <laughs> and he played Artie, the strongest man in the world, on that show. And uh, sadly, he put up no fight against Michael Myers and was dispatched pretty pretty quickly for being the strongest man in the world. Now wait a minute, if he had done a roundhouse kick into him. God damn it! Jumping sidekick, a jumping sidekick with a hi <laughs> oh, How about damn it. would that have made it better or worse? And <laughs> throwing the projector through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we we know where Dave draws his line here. <laughs> Andy, uh, anything? I I would say that uh, you know I, I pointed out that he kind of keyed on the two journalists because he saw them at Judith's gravesite and he knew that they had the mask. Yeah, but. Uh, a lot of the killing was very random. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and in contrast, I present Halloween Resurrection, where, <laughs> where Michael is just minding his own business in his family home, and all these kids and Buster Rhymes' entire banks come bursting into the scene, and he has to basically defend his home, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin McAllister style, from all these interlopers, and every killing is motivated. And that's why it's the best Halloween movie. <laughs> stand his ground, stand your ground. Uh, yeah, it's, I, technically you're correct. It is a home invasion movie, so. Yeah. Noted. <laughs> so you would compare that to The Strangers. Hmm. I mean. A superior movie I mean, to would, Halloween I would, Resurrection. I right? would favorably compare it to The Strangers. <laughs> <laughs> Angela. Yeah, I just felt the same way. I didn't understand, like, how. I just feel like in other movies, I understand why he was killing other people because they're always related to, like, the main character, mm-hmm. but in this. He was just randomly killing. He was like, I haven't killed in forever. Yeah. I need to just he had a lot of pent up yeah. rage. Yeah. I mean, he had 40 yeah. years worth of rage. And I feel yeah. like it was really gory, like just the way like he smashed that guy's head by standing on it and just... Yeah. So you didn't like the gore? Not like that stuff. Like we see like the blood like pouring out of the head. It's just gross. And it's just... <laughs> One, I don't think there's that much blood in the head. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, ah. And I'm like, can but you really good. smash a head if you... Yeah, Michael I, Myers yeah. can. Look at those boots. I would there. Say, yeah. <laughs> there were a couple of cool, um, like, broken jaw type. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah that like, one like, in the, uh, the in gas, the gas station. station. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was like, oh, and, I'm just resting. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. The, uh, and the, the, the dancer's dad also, his, like, his neck, like was neck was kind of... Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. that's who that was. I didn't yeah. remember yeah. that. Those were pretty cool. Messed up. That's a good audience reaction for the gas station attendant. Oh, yeah. yeah. They finally oh, yeah. came down and saw the jaw. Yeah, know? it's like, oh. Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, uh, I was trying to think of some of the other. He got the one lady in the in the neck from behind, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. With, the, mm-hmm. with the knife yeah, right through Yeah, just when the... she got the warning. Yeah. Like, I'm going to lock up. She goes to the window and first. Yeah. That's uh, That was one of, the, one of the more random killings, in my opinion. Yeah. Didn't really yeah. seem like there was a reason for him to go in there and do that. I mean, the other was, he was like, yeah. up, upgrading he from just... the hammer to the knife. Yeah, that's, nice that's when he was just like full wandering around. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that was that like was another thing. That was another murder. scene that, <laughs> that uh, reminded me of Halloween too, because he goes, he randomly goes into a girl's house who's talking on the telephone. Uh. Once he hangs up, you know, they're basically saying, "Oh, you know, there's been some killings here," and he pops out, kills her. So uh, that was another so kind of kind of throwback to yeah. Halloween too. Would you would you say the body count was comparable to Halloween to the original one? I'd say much higher. Hmm. The original Halloween, he murders five people. Right, yeah. the, the, the second one, though. The, the second one, he, even still, I think I it's could probably much Google that real quick. Yeah. yeah, I think he he killed a lot of people in this movie. It didn't a lot. Didn't feel like Andy, that you, many you to said, me. You said you thought kind of like fifteen I, or sixteen I or something like that. I would estimate seventeen. Yeah, I yeah. mean it was up there really high. I guess just modern standards, it didn't feel like it was that much to me. Yeah, or that, I don't or think that it many. Was that many yeah. um, it was a lot. According to according to uh, the HalloweenFilms.wikia.com, which I trust is an unimpeachable source that I just learned about 
just this minute. <laughs> um, Halloween 2 featured uh, 10 deaths. And let's see if they've got an updated one, this one on there yet. H2O, Resurrection, obviously. Perfect. Rob Zombie's Halloween, by the way, 20. Nice. Mm. Again, that sounds low. I don't know. I, I mean, it sounds low? It's hard for me to, to really think about this. That would be a good discussion at some point to figure out. 17. No, you were uh, right on with your 17. estimation. Well, actually, you know what? No, it would be 16 because uh, one of those is... Hawkins, the cop who actually the doctor stabbed. Mm-hmm. So, so, right. six, so 16 right, right, right. murders by Michael. Who saw that uh, that doctor becoming the bad guy? Mm-hmm. I did not see that coming. I did. Marianne, did you? She, oh, she yeah. started to say something when and he was, he was talking. like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, it's because, it's because you were doing that like while he was giving information. Yeah. I didn't know. So I was like, wait, I want to hear you say. And like you mentioned before, like he made it priority for him to get on the bus. He's yeah. like, I got to be transferred think, with my you patient. You think the guards would have been like, Sorry, dude. Uh, it's, no, yeah, it's, you and your yeah. strange pen need to stay here. <laughs> you know who he reminded me of, Dave? Who? The uh, like the scient- the like the the curious kind of evil scientist in Jack Frost. <laughs> I was gonna say who wants to know what's it like, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, from the the snowman, Jack Frost. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Yeah. I was so worried we were about to get into like like some like Halloween Six territory. With that doctor, like, oh, yeah. but, oh, we must protect Michael. The mark of Sam Hain is on him and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All stuff. I, 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 I was like, oh, no, where's this yeah, going? <laughs> yeah, I, I was worried he was going to go down that road, too. Like, yeah. somewhere way off path. Yeah, Paul Rudd has to show up. I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> sort of like a natural born killer's kind of track, as far as the sensationalism of the journalism and mm-hmm. also the... Oh, yeah. The... One uh, cop was pursuing them that was like, I, I want to know how it feels to kill like you, and that sort Not of thing. Cop. Oh, yeah. Oh, that cop. Scagnetti, yes. I think. Yeah. So, what would we rate this? From 1 to 10, and I want two scores in general enjoyment, and your horror factor, tension factor, squigged out factor, whatever you want to call it. Keith, do you want to go first? Might as well. Uh, enjoyment, probably... Uh, the high single digits. Okay. So, like, <laughs> an eight, so an eight or nine. Eight-ish, nine? Yeah, eight or okay. nine. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is probably one of the I'm highest. Not, I'm, not sure, yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to hold up for rewatch or whatever, but I, I certainly enjoyed it at the time. Um, as I said before, I was more scared than usual, although I'm, I think I'm pretty numb at this point, so it's hard to like say that this is terrifying, but on the scale of things, is, is probably going to be around a seven. Yeah. Yeah, gore. So, yeah. I mean, what do you think of the gore? I mean, I, we've seen more shocking things than that, certainly yeah. gore wise. But okay. it's, it, I think Dave put it pretty well. It was just, I think, I think it was enough to give. Okay. It's like something, something for everybody. If you yeah. want that kind mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. movie, Dave, our resident Halloween expert. Oh, uh, connoisseur. I mean, as far as entertainment, nine. I mean, I loved it. I thought it was very entertaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as Tension and goriness, I would say like a seven. I mean, there was there was pretty gory. I mean, not the extreme end, but you know, it was suitable for gore hounds, I think. And then, uh, you know, there was some very tense moments. Yeah, I, I it was tense when she started locking the rooms. That was so I, good. I loved that. How yeah. she had each room, like she yeah, investigated she each room, room for each locked night. it all, and yeah, so basically she hit a button, door slammed in front of that. She had investigated it, that room's clear, boom. Done. So it's becoming more claustrophobic as in, mm-hmm. until the final final room. I, I would have loved if she would have had him pinned in the closet. Mm-hmm. Like they, oh, and that's yeah. where I was expecting him to go in the end. He was going to be mm-hmm. in the, and because, you know, kind of role reversal again, yeah. you know, that's where he had her penned. Uh, I, I just, thought that would have been great. I just kept thinking, like, she wouldn't have closets like that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why is it just maybe she open? Was, maybe she was she trying to set him up. Yeah. Trying to set him up. Oh, set him up true. for the woo. <laughs> I, w- I wanted to actually, I think, maybe go back and bump mine up to like a solid nine at least for okay. enjoyment. Because I, I forgot about the, the traps in the house. That was such a great yeah. idea. I mean, you, you would think that somebody who obviously it seemed she made herself an expert on his uh, MO and so forth. And just, yeah, yeah the idea of like what she could. Just close the room so she has 
uh, her back protected. Yeah. You can't pop up from behind her from another room. So exactly. Later, so yeah. Just... Yep. She, she locked everything down and, you know, once run, one room was clear, then on to the next. And mm-hmm. I, I thought that was great. I thought Brilliant. that was, yeah, mm-hmm. I thought that was a lot of fun. I'd probably give it a nine. I enjoyed it. I really liked it. I mean, it kept my attention the entire time. Um, as far as gore, I'd probably rate the same thing like a seven. Like, I've seen worse than what was in there before. Um, I wouldn't say it was really scary. I mean, there was parts that I jumped and stuff, but it was yeah. nothing that actually, like, scared me. There were a lot me. of jump scares. Yeah. And that's kind of meh. Yeah. <laughs> but they were, some of them were actual legitimate jump scares. There was not a single cat that went. I was yeah. about to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there should be, like, that should, yeah, that should or be a bird the, that hit the, the window. Yeah, for yeah. animal scares. Yeah. yeah. Andy? Uh, I would say I'm gonna I'm gonna say nine for entertainment value. I'm gonna mm-hmm. say I'm gonna say like a six for gore. It wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. I didn't find it to be scary. I don't think there's anything in it that's gonna stick with me. But mm-hmm. it was tense as hell. Yeah. Tension mm-hmm. is the mm-hmm. this is, yeah. yeah. That would be what I, if I was gonna give it a higher score. I think it's the tension where you're just like the whole time like mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Like the whole time the whole time Lori was on. Like when when uh, when Judy Greer was was separated mm-hmm. for her, her trapped in the you know in the basement and and Lori was walking around the house like that to me was just like that was like so mm-hmm. yeah that was Science of the Lambs level tension mm-hmm. where where the guy's got the night vision goggles and mm-hmm. right yeah. behind her that that's the yeah. type of tension I felt with that with for Lori uh, I wanted, oh I was gonna say that, that actually I actually bought like a couple of near falls with Lori which. Blew my oh, mind. me yeah. too. Like the, me the, too. Like the, the front door thought they're just gonna yes. like fucking kill right there. Just that yeah. first time I was like, Cause, wow. Because I go. thought, <laughs> yeah. Because I thought like, okay, so they're gonna kill Lori, and now it's up to Judy Greer. Yeah, and then she's gonna have to be the one. Yeah, and mm. uh, and so yeah, I totally bit on that too. Yeah, um, I I didn't I didn't think they would do that I, just I, because it was a WrestleMania. She's been yeah, she's right been there. waiting for four totally years. That would have been a total like. Well, they did that in um um, what was the the Broken Lizard movie um. Beer Fest? Super Club Super Dread. Dread. Club Dread. Club, Club, yeah, yeah. They, they did that. Uh, not to put in a spoiler about that. Um, <laughs> oh, don't spoil Club Dread. <laughs> <laughs> no, have you seen it? You know what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah. So just, uh, yeah, the thing with the, with the, I think like Robert England or somebody. Some, oh, yeah. The, the character, I don't know if that was him. It was some, somebody. I, yeah, I don't was, remember. I haven't seen that movie. Well, anyway, like the Dr. Loom, the Dr. Loomis character who showed up and was like, now it's time. He's killed immediately. Yeah, they, they build him up the entire movie and just. Done. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I didn't think they would have gone that route, and I was really hoping they wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to build it, build up this whole big mm-hmm. collision, or uh, you know, whatever yeah. that they're supposed to meet after forty years, and have her go on like the first time he sees her. <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay, don't do that. Do you think? Did you guys? Anybody else think of? I mean, I don't know how you couldn't, but. Do you think that Laurie's character in this was kind of a direct nod to Linda Hamilton and Terminator yes. 2? Yes. Oh, yeah. sure. Maybe, yeah. you yeah. I immediately, especially with the training, when the the scene where she's in the tank, in the green tank top, mm-hmm. uh, and just, mm-hmm. yeah. with her gun, no, I, I was like, that's yeah. definitely Linda Hamilton. I didn't think about that, but yeah, I, I totally see that. Just pre-ordered the Blu-ray, by the way. Just nice. So everybody knows. <laughs> of Halloween 2018? Yeah. Oh, Nice. So damn it! I need to do that. When's <laughs> it come out? No release date. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I was just gonna say I don't. I don't know that if um, Linda Hamilton. Yeah, I, I don't know if they did it intentionally, but I think it's hard not to. If you, like any more, it's hard not to compare that. If any scene where you have the the former victim training like that, and, mm-hmm. and, and Terminator and Michael Myers are very kind of oh, yeah. similar. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was also gonna say that there were a lot more chicks. <laughs> Yeah. But I would have expected an eight. <laughs> Hell yeah. I would grade it probably a nine for entertainment value. I'm going to go with Andy for about a six. The uh, gore was lower, but the tension was high, and I loved it. I thought it was a great movie. Did anyone catch the part where she was rolling off the roof? There was like a split second where it just looked so fake. I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah, it was like right on the edge, like before she fell off. It just I could tell it was just. It looked like a doll. Uh, so the one thing Keith pointed out was like, look at that, look at that guy's crow's feet. That high schooler. <laughs> yeah, the boyfriend. No. Yeah, it was the boyfriend. Yeah, the boyfriend. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't believe any of these kids are high schoolers. <laughs> right. It's fine, yeah. It's fine. I mean, it, it, 
they, they were all around the 20 yeah, age. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess if you have a high, an entire high school of 20 or 20 year olds, they can all play like they're 17. Yeah. It's really lucky that uh, Judy Greer's training that she hadn't done in 30 years really like stayed with her, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. For them. Well, they had that, this that whole thing where she had to touch two wires together and a thing came down. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, she's going to put her daughter in that and have her do that and then she'll be safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was the writing on the gun? And it was her, her, it was her initials. Her yeah. initials. Yeah. Karen Strode. Kate okay. Strode. Kate. Karen. Something like that. Was Karen. Okay. Yeah. And then it had a little lightning bolt and a little butterfly sticker on it. Okay. I said it stood for kill switch. <laughs> <laughs> or kiss. She was a kiss fan. Yeah. yeah. Part of the bolt. kiss army. Mm. Like in terms of like the world today? Yeah. 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 About, about Halloween. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you know. We got HMM coming up next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. Yeah. Halloween movie marathon. One week from <laughs> technically today now. Yeah. If you haven't listened to last year's podcast about the Halloween movie marathon, it was a 20th year anniversary and it was spectacularly funny. Uh, we had a lot of good insight from people and a great game of Boulder Dash. Dave, I tell you what, year by year, I, it started out as a gimmick, but... I've convinced myself that I love that <laughs> You love that movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Mm. That's fine. I'm, I'm that... not opposed to anyone hating a Halloween movie. I almost... I'm not opposed to anyone loving a Halloween movie. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. I said hating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it for Marianne's Macabre Review today. Uh, happy Halloween. Be safe and have fun. Woo! Go ahead. Happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. You didn't do enough of a happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, do it right. <laughs> happy, happy Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween, Silver Shamrock. Done. <laughs> it's All Been Done presents. Who's got the time?